Grand Moff Tarkin, okay, you probably either love him or hate him, but you have to admit that Peter Cushing did a phenomenal job bringing that character to life and making him truly iconic. But you know, Peter Cushing's uh, acting legacy goes far beyond just Star Wars. He played a lot of other iconic characters like Sherlock Holmes, uh, Van Helsing from the Dracula movies, Baron von Frankenstein, and just a whole lot of others. So today I wanted to show you guys, especially those of you that only know him from Star Wars, some of his other films. And the first one I want to show you is this one right here, Island of Terror. This is the first film that I ever remember uh, seeing Peter Cushing in. In this one, he plays a scientist who's trapped on an island with some other people, and they're being terrorized by these monsters that keep duplicating themselves uh, from a scientific experiment gone wild. Uh, this movie is your classic uh, monster on the loose kind of thing. Uh, it's not shown on TV very often, and it's hard to find on DVD. Um, maybe it's on, uh, online somewhere, but if you can track it down, this one's a lot of fun. Uh, next up, we have the ultimate sci-fi crossover. We have Peter Cushing as none other than Doctor Who. Now, this isn't the Doctor Who that you're used to from television. Uh, you're not going to hear uh, Peter Cushing saying Allons-y or anything like that. Um, it, these are the feature films that came out in the late 60s, and um, it was the first time the public had ever seen the Daleks in color and in widescreen. So they changed the character. Who knows why exactly, but they made him a human instead of an alien, and he's the inventor of the TARDIS. If you can get past all that stuff, these movies are are very enjoyable. Uh, the first one is Doctor Who and the Daleks, and the sequel is Daleks Invasion Earth 2150 AD. This is my favorite of the two. And uh, the DVD set came with an extra bonus disc called uh, Dalek Mania. So if you're a Doctor Who completist or you just want to see Peter Cushing do his uh, take on Doctor Who, uh, check these out. Next up from the 1970s, Horror Express. Now this is a, uh, a film that Peter Cushing did with Christopher Lee and from the 1970s, Telly Savalas, who some of you might know as Kojak. Uh, in this film, Christopher Lee is sort of the lead and Peter Cushing is, the support, is more the supporting character. This is another classic monster on the loose, uh, terrorizing people on a train. This was a, a Spanish production originally called Panic on the Trans-Siberian Express. Uh, it's very 70s, uh, it's, uh, but it's it's very good. I, I highly recommend uh, checking this one out. And last but not least, we have a, a four-movie pack from Turner Classic Movies. Uh, this is a sort of a hammer sampler pack, I guess you could call it. It has the original Dracula and Frankenstein, plus two of the sequels. And uh, Frankenstein Must Be Destroyed, uh, one of the sequels on here, is probably one of the best out of the series. Peter Cushing plays Baron von Frankenstein at his absolute most devilish. And, uh, you know, another thing to note about the Hammer uh, films as opposed to the Universal monster films, um, in the Universal Frankenstein films, the monster is the recurring character. It's always usually Boris Karloff coming back again and again. In the Hammer films, the monster changes with every film, and Peter Cushing as Baron Frankenstein is the one that keeps coming back. So Peter Cushing is, is in all of the Frankenstein movies uh, done by Hammer. So, um, like I said, this is a great sampler for those of you that haven't seen the Hammer films. This is a, a nice one to have in your collection. So there you go, just the tip of the iceberg of Peter Cushing's film and television career. So hopefully you can track those down and you guys will have some fun watching them and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.